हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रियली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज फाइव थिंग्स टू डू आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग द विंडो सर्वर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर रेड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड number 1 update so just like any operating system whether it's a linux system or it's windows there are some updates that are needed to be done in order to have optimal performance from that particular system we'll do the same with microsoft server in order to do so first of all we'll open the setting of the system so here it is i'll just open it and from here just scroll down and open your update and security section and in here it will look for the updates that are available in here in my case at the moment two updates are available at the moment in your case you might have more or you might have none but there must be update in any case at some particular time while you are using your windows server 2022 and as i will update or you can say i'll include these updates into my system obviously i will have more optimal performance from this microsoft server 2022 number 2 add disk in task manager so first of all let me open my task manager and then we will talk about that what is the issue here if you go into your performance section here you can see we have cpu memory and ethernet and we have all the information related to all these three thing we also have one more directory or partition that says disk c well basically this is the disk in my system by default you will not have your disk available in your task manager you will have to include this manually i have done the same in order to do so or how you can include your disk into your task manager to have different analytics and different statistics you have to do a simple thing and that is open your command prompt which is also known as cmd just open it and in here we will just write or add a simple command in order to add our disk into our task manager so i will just write here disk perf space dash y and after that just hit enter and what it will do it will add all the disk that are there into your microsoft server into the task manager so let me open my file explorer and here if you see i have only one disk that is available in my system and we have the same disk available in the task manager number 3 enable remote desktop protocol well this is also known as rdp basically rdp is a microsoft proprietary protocol that enables the remote connection to other computers typically rdp or remote desktop protocol works on tcp port 3389 and it also provides the network access for a remote user over the encrypted channel well in order to enable this one I'll show you two ways. First one is by opening registry editor and to do so press windows plus r key and in here just write a simple command and that command is reg edit after that hit enter and here is our registry editor here you will have to go to a particular directory and here you can see the path it says h key local machine then to the subcategory of system and then in the subcategory of current control set then go to the control and then look for terminal server and here it is just double click on it and you will have something like this and in here you will see something says f deny ts connections at the moment the value is 0 0 means we have allowed the remote desktop protocol because i have changed it but by default you will have this value set to 1 and 1 means that remote desktop protocol is denied so in order to change this value to 0 just double click on this and from here change the value to 0 that was one of the way that how you can enable remote desktop protocol into your system now i'll show you the second one open your file explorer and after that right click on your pc and go to its properties it will open all about your system from here scroll down and you will have an option that will say remote desktop you might have different thing but it will have something to do with remote desktop so look for that option and just click on it and after that it will open a new window 
As you can see here, it is already enabled as I have told you earlier, but in your case, it will be disabled by default. I'll just show you that how you can do that. So just click on this on button. It will ask for the confirmation. Just click on confirm and now you are good to go and you have successfully enabled the remote desktop protocol into your system. Number four, invoke the BPA model. Well, with the help of BPA, it can help administrators reduce the best practice violations by scanning roles that are installed on the managed servers that are running a supported version. And with the help of it, reporting the best practice violations to the administrators are more easier. Well, now I'll show you that how you can include it. To do so, we'll have to open the PowerShell. So I will just search for that. And after that, I will open it as an administrator. So here it is. And now we will add a simple command. The command is get dash BPA model and hit enter. Here you can see it has started the process of getting the BPA model. And after that, we will just invoke that one into our system. So we will wait for the process to end. And after that, I'll show you the second command. And that command is also really simple. We just have to add something into the first command. So I'll use the first command and after that add a pipe and now just write invoke dash BPA model and just hit enter. And now it will invoke and it will add the BPA model into your system. So just wait for the process to get completed and it will done everything else successfully. And now let's move on to the next one. Number five, set processors count. As we all know, that we use more than one processor in our supercomputers or even in our servers. So as we are using the Microsoft Server 2022, so there might be a chance that you might be using more than one processor in order to get the best performance out of your software and obviously from your hardware. Well, in order to do so, you have to include the number of processors manually as well from the software section. To do so, just press Windows plus R key and just write here MS config and it will open a small window in front of you. Now from here, go to your boot section and click on make all boot settings permanent. After that, click on advanced option and now just check the option that will say number of processors. And now as you can see, we have this drop down arrow enabled. Just click on it and here you will have all those processors that you have available in your system. Let's say if you have four processors available for your server, you will have four options in here. You can go with any one of them as per the need of your system or as per the liking of you. So just go there, set the number of processors and get the best out of your server 2022. Just apply it and just for the confirmation, click on yes and now you are good to go. So with that, we are done with all the five things that you should do after installing the Windows Server 2022. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it. And if you have anything to ask, or if you want to suggest something, please leave a comment below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.